of the day. Here are seven things to know for the day. Number one happening today. The murder trial of Stephen Gavin picks up today after the courthouse was closed for President's Day. Gavin is charged with four counts of first degree murder and a charge of robbery in the death of Carlos Weyer Sr. Police say Wires was shot to death in his home of November 2015. Number two, also happening today, Iowa's Governor Kim Reynolds is scheduled to sign education funding bills at the state capitol. The bills provide a 2% increase in state per pupil funding for the budget year starting in July. Number three, new this half hour, Nature's Path Foods is recalling more than 400,000 boxes of gluten-free cereal for children because the product might contain what the FDA calls undeclared gluten. The products are in the Enviro Kids line. Nature's Path says people with wheat allergies, celiac disease, and gluten sensitivity should not eat the affected cereals. Number four, a new this half hour happening today. Teachers in West Virginia say they'll go on strike today to protest a education bill they see as retaliation for a nine day walkout last year. That strike did get them a 5% pay raise, but a new bill allows for charter schools and savings accounts to help parents pay for private school. Number five, new in our 530 half hour, Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein may be looking for a new job soon. The new Attorney General, William Barr, is expected to announce his pick for Deputy AG as soon as this week. And number six in new this half hour, California has joined with attorneys generals from 15 states to file a lawsuit challenging the constitutionality of President Trump's emergency declaration. It allows federal money earmarked for the Defense Department to be diverted to fund the border wall. And number seven, a winter weather advisory starts this evening for the entire tri-state area as we talk about several inches of snow and ice accumulation across the track.